Hello there everybody, my name is EliteRock21 and welcome to episode 4 of our Fallout New Vegas modded series. If you guys are first time watching, I am playing through it Fallout New Vegas, but with a t ultra modded. I have 120 some plus mods right now. And last time we made our way from Prim to Novak, we found Prim a new sheriff for the time being named Myers. We got all his, all his paperwork finished up at Mojave Outpost, and we made it over to Novak. And Lastly, we got Boone, and we find out we found out who kidnapped his wife. So, this time on it, we are just gonna kind of do some odd quests in that around Novak, I would say. Also, if you may not have noticed, if you may have noticed or not, I have updated my game a little bit here. I have a brand new weather mod installed, but previously I was using Nevada Skies. But after some recommendations, I have changed over now to natural desert. Um, natural desert. It's uh, I honestly quite like it a lot more. It looks more natural. It looks more realistic, and I think it looks great overall. That's enough of my mod review here. Let's. There's a bunch of quests in Novak we're gonna do next time. We'll probably do come fly with me over to the Repcon test site. But we don't have time for that today. We're gonna do some odd jobs and ends. I have heard of one last time late Olga Lee Gibson was like, oh, um, whatever his name is right over here, let's see here, uh, the McBride house, they're having a problem of their cattle is being slaughtered. Let's go deal with that. Now, so, let's go talk to them, everybody. Alright, there you are, Dusty Howdy. McBride. Howdy. Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. I've heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Tell me about tell me what you know about these attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch who's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. Alice and I'll find... Okay. Did you get a good look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not Fair to enough. mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just... Whoever it is, I don't think... Okay. What do you do in Novak, by the way? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Alright. See ya. So long. Alright. Let's ask uh, Alice over here what she saw, Look, and then we'll talk to some other people here. What brings you here? Alright. I just... Alright, um... What can you tell me about these attacks on your ranch? Wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I can't imagine what went on. Dusty. Okay. All right, see ya. Nice of you to visit. Yep, I'm not gonna play gossip with everybody else. All right, so. This is a very interesting little like unmarked quest. It's kind of fun. Actually, is this actually a quest? I'm pretty sure it's unmarked. Stats. Wait, is it? No, it's in data. Alright, quest. Yep, it is just... Yeah. So, if we want to get more information, we gotta talk to Nobark over here. The absolute nut job of... of Novak. Hello, Nobark no Nunian. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Talk about what? Confound it, no mark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Why do they call you no bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, cause it's the truth. 
Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. I know what I seen. How are you alive? All right, what's been going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the Chupacabra. Chupacabra. The vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Chupacabra. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a Chupacabra with an automatic weapon. <laughs> That's when they get real fired. All right, yeah. They see the predicament we're in. Okay. What else? What else do you know about these deaths? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, <laughs> ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other. More invisible, yeah. Alright, anything else happening interesting around the area, no bark? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Ghouls. Sensationalist hooey. Cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. What? What? Do, who do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Ghosts. Come, ghosts. ghosts. They don't know they're dead. <laughs> Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them. <laughs> you are a treasure, Nobar. You are absolute treasure. My very eyes, although being a scientist. I have to admit, I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. Yeah, you are a strike to Sora. You're an absolute treasure, no bark. Anything else? Any has anyone been acted strangely around here? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span. Alright. Goodbye. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Yeah. I think that last one is talking about, um, what's her name? Uh, the lady who run the hotel. Because, yeah, she was the nicest old lady in town and she held an uh, absolute monster in her closet that she was enslaving people for Legion. Now. We are going to go quickly finish up this quest, this little side quest here with the dealing with the, uh, the missing, the murder cows. Now, you can totally just do this in normal way. You can wait till about midnight or so and deal with that. Um, or you can do this the faster way. Knows more than he says about He's always here. If you guys don't know, there is a Nightkin that is sitting right here. It's a super mutant that's got a, a permanent, like, really good use of stealth boys. He's got a minigun, which is what he's talking about, a backpack that's shooting bullets. At, um, he is schizophrenic, if you guys can't tell. That's kind of what stealth boys do to super mutants with, that's what happened to Nightkin. They're all schizophrenic in some way. He believes the Brahmin are talking to him. So, we're going to quickly do this. I'm going to quick save, and we're going to pop this guy in the head. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. Secrets of the Br Screams of the Brahmin. Yeah. Miscellaneous. Screams of the Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychopathic gibberish. It seems to be express, express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are literally keeping the author awake at night, screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes so yeah yeah he is just he is sight he is schizophrenic in some way and it is not good at all oh hey we leveled up sick okay um what's first um okay. lock pick of 50 i think that's going to be important this gun's fine um speech i think is fine right now so I, uh, um Let's put some points in the barter. That should be fine. Or actually, nope. 
Yeah, barter is fine. Um, okay, let's do speech. Speech at the 75. Let's try to get that up there next couple levels. Okay, now. Swift learner, don't care about that. Gunslinger, not that fine. Uh, how much, what do I need for cowboy again? I'll keep that in mind as we go on. Cowboy. So, guns of 45, melee weapons of 45. Okay. Okay, I'll get melee weapons up to 45 next soon, actually. That's going to be good. Okay, now, confirm bachelor. That is probably what we're going to use, end up taking. Uh, then it's lady killer. And then rapid reload, probably. Basher, don't care about that. Cannibal, nah, not really. Not do not have a build. Running gun, don't care. Bloody mess, maybe at some point. Fortune finder might be good later on. And gunslinger will be useful later. But right now, that should be fine. We'll stick with this. So now, yeah, we got that little quest done with. We'll talk to this doctor. See if she's got anything to say. What can I do for you? Okay. Um. Okay. Nothing. All right. See ya. Right, let's talk to McBride and uh, those who do not know, as soon as we solve this, this fridge will, we will get free access to this um, never-ending supply of steak. Find anything? Okay. No one's going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. Okay. Cool. Alright, so 75 cacks. All right, I'm accepting Novak. All right, out of the way, Boone. All right, and there is one more quest. Actually, before we go, I am going to get a little nice little. Actually, not next time. So there is one more actual like, quest to do. I think in the good string of sides. Of course, fly, come fly with me, which is at the Repton test site. There's one more, actually. And besides, you know, Boone and doing all that. There's um, one that we can do right now, anyway. Uh, I believe one of the uh, you can do, it's whatever, the talent pool mission. There's one of the guys is hiding out there. He's a famous dancer. But the one we have to talk to is Ranger Andy. All right, where are you at, Raider Andy? Hello. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. Oh, I'm what? Andy. What did you do around here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my ass and counting cracks. That's in the uh, that's some interesting work. Whatever, life. whatever mod is doing that. Days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing something good. Okay. You're with the NCR, right? No, not anymore. Ever since my legs. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I check in with the guys up at the station on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects. They haven't been responding to me lately. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk. It's still got me a little worried. <laughs> guess they're just sick of all this bullshit. Alright. Would you feel better if I checked on them for you? No, no, no. They'll be alright. They're good soldiers. I, I, don't, I don't give them enough credit. Okay. Alright, tell, tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCRs. Yeah, the folks. captions are not lining up, and that's kind of annoying me. Each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless. Yeah, this is Brave that's New World, I'm just realizing. Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans... Guys who earn their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Okay. All right, you're over the NCR, right? <laughs> All right. Like. Okay. I'm not gonna ask about your leg, hey, so. Uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. All right. Yeah, we'll check it out for you, man. I'm not gonna ask about your leg. That's that's disrespectful. That's not. I'm not gonna do that. That's like, yeah, never ask someone like a veteran, hey, what happened to your leg? You tried to like, or, hey, have you killed anybody? Have you killed anybody, man? Like, that's just being rude. That's just being an asshole. Now, let's go and let's go back to Ranger Station Charlie, I would say.
So quest, save anything. Nope. This is an unmarked quest. So stats, or nope, still in world map. Ranger Station Charlie, just down the road, straight up. So let's head back over there. We've been, we went down there on our way over here, but now we can help and clear out this place a little bit there, or not clear it out, but make sure that everyone's over there is fine. So, we're keeping this episode short here, because next time it's going to be a longer episode doing Come Fly With Me. we got to go through Ripcon, it might be two episodes over there. And also, I'm going to try to keep, keep episodes a little shorter, not doing a full hour-long episodes anymore. More bite-sized, doing smaller stuff. What the, am I getting attacked? Oh, it's a, it's a bunch of vipers, okay. Oh, I got this boom spotter perk. That's awesome. Ah, I got shot in the arm. God damn it! If I killed those two, okay. Um, also, ooh, Tamo pistol. Actually, sure, why not? Okay. Anything? What do you got? Uh, Colt. Sure, why not? I'll check it out. How does this look like? So I'm guessing the Tamo. The this is just. Yeah, same as that gun. Okay, I can use this to repair that gun in a second. What's the Colt 166520? Where is this from? This is a... This looks like some... What is this? This looks awful. It looks... I don't know. Okay, well, let's head back to Raider Session Charlotte. Cowboy... Alright. Actually... Start a camera and shotgun. We're gonna need it in a second. If you guys don't know what's about to happen, um, just pack. All right. If you guys don't know what's about to happen, keep that in mind. We gotta, we gotta go and figure out why these rangers are responding. Usually, there's rangers around here. I don't know where they went. So let's see. All right. So yeah. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, that's this is Legion. This is hundred percent Legion. Um, gonna move you. So, fuck. All right, yeah. Screw the Legion. You guys suck. Ranger Station Charlie Audio Log One. Check it out. Data miscellaneous. Throw the Raiders off. No casualties. In the meantime, patrols back. They're late. I hope they got a good excuse. What took Chicken Rainer Station Charlie? Yep, okay. Okay. Yep. Someone killed all these rangers, that's not good. And they this screams Legion, and if you guys don't know yeah, this is Legion hundred percent. Um okay. I'm gonna make sure that there's not a stupid Yep! Ugh, I knew it. I freaking knew it. They do this shit. Okay, I'm not gonna heal yet. I'm gonna go back to, to Novak and just heal my wounds there. Then a like sort of hollow tape or something around here. I can just I need to loot. Nope. Okay. Okay. Now. Flashlight. <laughs> Fucking hell! Was there a trip mine? All right. Try this again. Okay. Okay. Audio log two. Okay, we missed that that first time. Okay, disarm. Ranger Search and Charlie one. We already heard that one. Let's play it. Okay. Charlie audio log two. This is a message to the NCR from the Legion. We are coming for you. Run, and we will catch you. Hide, and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We okay. took one of the women alive. Okay, so now. Nope, that's not what I wanted, but I can... Okay. What I'm trying to do here is pick up the uh, damn guy. Okay.
and trust shreds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's a trip mine, right? Yeah, yeah, if I missed that the first time. Okay. Or is that a trip mine? Yeah, it's a trip wire. That's that's some real Okay, nope. Hey, yeah, quick save. Quick save earlier, so that's fine at least. So check out these nice little loading loading screen kind of art pieces. Okay, there we go. That's one mine. Some XP. Okay. Where is no? That's a cigarette. God damn it! All right, hey, I'm alive, so that's all that matters. NCR trooper. Oh. Okay, ten pack three. Just have Magnum revolver. I'll take it. You ranger hat. I'm not gonna take it, but I'll. That's just collection. Some caps. Okay, peeling. Okay. Well. That's that for the station, I guess. Back to back to Good Springs. Then I thought there might be Ranger like in, like Legion here, but guess not. Right. Cowboy repeater. Head back. Yeah, head back. Report to. I'll get some medical treatment from the doctor over there, and then we'll end this episode here. How's your guys' day been going? Why do I hear, like, combat music? No thank you, Boone. I'm really enjoying this new uh, desert lighting mod, it's nice. Also included some new mods. One of them was a necessity, because last time, freaking Peggy Lee uh, copyright struck me. There we go. And she's back for me again. No, last time, because I was talking to Major Knight in the background, for two freaking seconds, uh, Johnny Katar was playing in the background. I got copyrighted struck for that. So, if man knows that, that part has been taken out now. It was only like ten seconds, but still, it's freaking annoying. And I'm pretty sure Creative Commons, like, you can use ten seconds of audio footage. Audio. Which, that's even more BS. But, alright, so... But yeah, what that is, all radios are now going to be disabled by default, which is nice. And I added a couple extra mods, which I'll kind of go over. One, the biggest one was Living Desert, which adds in just like new combat encounters and all that. There's a new sheriff. Not, that should keep the powder gangers away. Not new combat encounters, but just like new, uh, new kind of stuff to, uh, like new like encounters that can happen. Like to pace depends on like your choices that you make. The environment can change more rapidly which is kind of cool another one is pretty straightforward it was Mike Burnfire's quests actually next I'll find the prospector some other time or not prospector the uh, whatever it's called the doctor we'll also report to Ranger Andy and we'll end the episode here okay Ranger Andy hey. I've got bad news man any word on station Charlie <sighs> Uh, sorry, man. Everybody was, there's dead. What? What happened? Remember, the Siege of Legion ambushed them. Those were good men at the station. Good men! This whole town was sleeping a lot easier because of them. They've gone too far this time. Too far. I need to tell the others. Thanks for telling me. And I know that knowledge didn't come without risk. Tell you what. I'll pay you for what you did, but I'll do you one better too. There's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my <laughs> ass a bunch of times. Maybe it'll help you out. Let me show you how it's done. Okay. You learn new uh, unarmed technique, Ranger takedown. That's sick. All right, and 100 caps. All right, cool. Well, that was fun, everybody. Oh, what the? It's always fun when something blows up, specifically 
shit. Okay, that this is what I was gonna bring up earlier. I have Mike Burnfire NPC overhaul. Not even NPC overhaul. But Okay. Reload you damn thing. Okay. This is why is the why is these things here on such low level? I didn't. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's this sucks. This freaking sucks. Come on, freaking bats. Okay. okay, everybody, we're gonna gameplay turn difficulty down to very easy mode. <laughs> Mike Mike Burnfire's NPC pack. This is very much geared towards higher level because this is not, this should not be this hard. It's just a, these guys are so tanky. They're so tanky. Come on. Uh. Come on. Okay, we are going to pull up that gun. I was not expecting that. Alright, if you guys enjoyed that, let me know and come back for next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace.